This next tactic is one that you'll find in other test prep courses and test prep materials. And sometimes it's presented as kind of a cure-all, as one of those secret magic tricks that'll help you answer a bunch of questions. And it is useful. However, I think the reason why it's presented that way is to hold over from the old SAT. The old SAT really, you could use this a lot to good effect. It was severely diminished, I think, as, as its usefulness for the new SAT, for the SAT you guys are taking. Uh, but still, it's, it's worth mentioning, it's worth bringing up, because it is a useful tool to bring out uh, when maybe you're having trouble with an algebra kind of question. And the technique is... Uh, sometimes it's called plug in the answers. I'm calling it just test the answers. So instead of um, trying to work through the problem, we're just going to look at the choices and plug them into the scenario here and see which one makes sense given what the problem tells us. So let's show you that way. And then I'll also show you the algebra way of doing it. Ali, Ben, and Carla made a total of 20 sandwiches. Okay, so we know that there are 20 sandwiches. Notice I'm not reading this at once. I'm reading it or do read it once, but I also want to break it down sentence by sentence. So first sentence, Ali, Ben, and Carla made a total of 20 sandwiches. Ben made three times as many as Ali, and Carla made twice as many as Ben. Okay, so Ben is three times Ali, Carla two times Ben. How many sandwiches did Ali make? So instead of doing the algebra, we'll show you the algebra in a second. Let's just go to the choices. We want to know how many sandwiches did Ali make. So this right here, Ali sandwiches. So we go ahead and start with C, because you'll notice if you get an answer that's too big or too small, it might help you figure out which way to go, which direction to go, to go into A or B or, or D and E. You'll see what I mean in a second. So if Ali made five sandwiches, how many did uh, Ben make? Well, Ben made three times as many as Ali, so that means Ben made 15. And Carla made twice as many as Ben, so that means Carla made 30. Now, does this make sense as an answer? Well, look, their total number of sandwiches is 30, 45, 50, but they made 20. So that means it's no good, and we can probably... Guess then that D and E are not going to work, because if 5 was too big, 6 and 10 is going to be too big. Let's check out 4. So if Ali made 4, and Ben made 3 times that many, he made 12. And if Carla made double that, she made 24. Again, we're over 20. So let's just check A to make sure, even though we know it's the only one left. Uh, if Ali made 2, Ben made 6, and Carla made then 12. 12 plus 6 plus 2 is 20. So A is the answer here. So that's just testing the answer choices. We... Instead of doing the algebra, we just use them, figure out you know what the consequences are if that were the answer, and see if it's all consistent, if everything works out in the problem. Let's show you the algebra way as well. So Ali, Ben, and Carla made a total of 20 sandwiches. So we know that Ali plus Ben plus Carla is equal to 20. And we're going to swap out those variables in for a second, but I'm just using this to remember. Ben made three times as many as Ali, and Carla made twice as many as Ben. So notice Ali made the uh, the, the smallest amount. Ben made three times as many as Ali, and Carla made three times as many as Ben. So let's let X equal uh, the number of Ali sandwiches. Now, what do we know now? Well, Ben made three times as many as Ali, so then 3X is going to equal the number of Ben sandwiches. And if Carla made twice as many as Ben, well, then it's going to be 2 times 3X, which is 6X which is the number of Carla sandwiches. And now we know that, as we saw in the previous equation, all of them added up is going to equal 20. So we're going to get x plus 3x plus 6x is 20. Add these up, we get 10x is 20. So x is 2. Now remember, x stands for number of alley sandwiches. So the number of alley sandwiches was indeed 2. And that is the answer right here, as we got before. So as I said before, testing answers is not the greatest thing. It doesn't work on a lot of problems anymore, but there are occasions where it's useful. So be on the lookout for it. If you can break it out instead of doing algebra, that's often going to help you get a problem right.